Hey everyone, in my recent job search, I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video, we'll be discussing about the most asked JavaScript conceptual questions. Okay, so whatever the question that I'll be sharing was asked to me personally in different interviews. So I would highly suggest you to watch the video till end without skipping it. Without wasting much time, let's get started into the questions. Okay, first question is what is a promise? This is one of the most asked JavaScript interview question. And let me tell you, this was asked to me personally in different interviews. And not just this, the interview might ask you to write down an example on promises, or they might give you a code snippet and ask you to guess the output of the code snippet, or they might expect you to answer what different promises methods like promise.all, promise.race, and its differences. So there can be different kinds of questions on promises and this topic is most asked one, okay? And guys, I have created a top 50 output based JavaScript interview questions video. And if you are preparing for the interview, just check out that video as well. Next question is explain this keyword in JavaScript. This is also one of the most asked JavaScript interview question. And interviewers ask output based questions on this as well and I'll be sharing the link to the blog for this keyword explanation in a proper way and check out that. Next important question is what is a closure and this is also one of the most asked question and in many of the interviews interviewers asked me to explain the closures and they also asked me to write down an example describing how closures actually work. And the next question is explain hoisting in JavaScript and how it behaves differently for variables declared with var, let and const. And the next question is what is temporal dead zone in JavaScript? And we need to also sometime explain how this actually relates to hoisting concept. And the next important question is explain call, apply and bind methods in JavaScript. So in some of the interviews, interviewers ask you to explain this with proper examples and they might also want you to mention how this keyword behaves when using these methods. And the next important question is, tell me the differences between for each and map array method. And guys, in every interview, interviewer expects you to know at least these basic array methods like for each, map, filter and reduce method. So just make sure that you know these methods before giving an interview. And the next question is what is throttling in JavaScript? And the interviewer might ask you to show the throttling concept with a proper example. And then the other important question is explain debounce concept in JavaScript. So for this as well, the interviewer might ask you to explain this with a proper example. And the next question is explain the differences between let, var and const. This is one of the basic question and the interviewer asked this question mostly for the freshers or the one year experienced guys. And then the next important JavaScript question is what is prototype and prototype chain? So in some of the interviews, interviewers ask about the inheritance concept in JavaScript and then they come to this prototype. So yeah, prototype and prototype chain are the important questions as well. And then the next question is what are generator functions? This was asked in few of the interviews but was asked in a good companies like Oracle, ServiceNow, etc. So yeah. And the next question is what is a symbol in JavaScript? And this was also asked in ServiceNow interview. And then the next important question is explain the differences between object and a map data structure. And the interviewer might ask you to explain about weak set, weak map as well. And the next question is what is a proxy object? This is also one of the good questions to check your knowledge on JavaScript. And the next important question is explain event loop in JavaScript. And the next follow up questions on J's engine can be macro task queue, macro task queue, heap and execution context etc. And the next good question is what is event bubbling? And what is event capturing? And the next important question is 
explain the differences between arrow functions and normal functions. So the interviewer might ask you how this keyword behaves in arrow functions and normal functions. And the next question is what is currying? So the interviewer might ask you to write an example for this currying as well. And the next question is what is type coercion? The next question is what is the use of prevent default method and what is the use of stop propagation as well. And the next important question is what is event delegation. And the next question is explain different kinds of web storages and their uses. So this is also one of the most asked JavaScript interview questions. Some interviewers might ask you to explain the differences between local storage and session storage or they might ask you how to set or get elements from the local storage. And the next question is what is a callback function? This is also one of the most asked question. And the next question is explain the differences between async await and promises. And this is also one of the most asked JavaScript interview questions. And the interviewers might ask output based questions on these concepts. So understand these concepts well and uh, I would suggest you to go through Akshay Saini's videos on promises. He explained in a very better way. So yeah. And the next question is what is a post message? And the other question is what are web workers? And the next important question is explain the differences between promise.all and promise.trace. This is also one of the most asked interview question. And in some of the interviews, interviewers asked me to create a polyfill for these methods as well. So just grab the knowledge very well for these so that you will be able to write polyfills easily. And I would suggest you to practice the polyfills as well. And I have created a video on the top 50 JavaScript output based interview questions. And those questions were personally asked to me in one or the other interview. So I would highly recommend you to check out that particular video. And if you like the content, please do subscribe to my channel.